Hello everyone, this is Charles Walvenkirk back again with another watch review and today we have the Ball Hydrocarbon Aero GMT. As I said before, this is the Ball Watch Company Engineer Hydrocarbon GMT. Excuse me, the Engineer Hydrocarbon Aero GMT. We are here at Little Treasury Jewelers in Gambrels, Maryland, the authorized dealer of Ball. And this is a new redesigned hydrocarbon. This watch is a pilot style watch rather than the usual diver style watch. What you still have is the robust elegance that you find in the hydrocarbon line. Okay, the first thing that caught my, mind, caught my eye was this black and white color scheme. Simply black and white. It's simple, but it is perfectly done, nice and balanced. Unfortunately, because, well, for me, there's no ball counterweight, but that counterweight is it doesn't need to be there. It doesn't need to be there for this watch at all. I really like the way this looks. It's a 44 millimeter watch. It's as it's has that ratcheting bi-directional bezel. The bi-directional bezel is indicative of a true pilot's watch. And then you also will have this stainless steel that is polished and brushed. Now this is a larger watch. This, this watch sits up pretty high and because it sits up high you want to have those curved lugs that we see here. Alright, let's take a look at that case back. Uh, with this case back you always have, or the hydrocarbon case back, you have some kind of engraved case back and this is for the GMT. It's a grid to assist you with your calculations and get your time correct with your GMT watch. I don't want to forget to tell you about this curved sapphire crystal, or excuse me, dome sapphire crystal. So clear, so perfect. Oh man, nice and sharp. And also, this is a COSC certified movement. Yes, COSC certified movement. A watch you would find that may cost a lot more will be COSC certified, but all they do it right. Most of their watches are COSC certified. And also, here, let's look at this dial. If you take a look real close, this is a textured dial. It's black and white, yes. But if you look real close, it's a wonderfully textured dial. Now, the numerals, the Arabic numerals, are done in a military time sequence to go along with the GMT. They are printed. They are not applied but the printing is extremely sharp and uh, very impressive. And I love the way it's been done, even though it's not applied. Sometimes you like to have more of an applied look, but it works perfect. It works perfect. Um, also, with the DNA of ball, you always have those gas tubes. Those tritium gas tubes you see slightly raised. They are done by other brands, but not as well or as many are going to be put inside of that dial and also on the hands you see here. Another feature you will always have in these, this hydrocarbon line is the flip lock crown protector. Uh, again, it goes back to the, the DNA of all hydrocarbon and you can only find in a hydrocarbon line. Here, I'll show you how that works. You gotta press in to get that open, press in and flip it out. If you're not familiar, let me give you a quick rundown of how a GMT function works. Uh, you make sure you unscrew it to the right level because it's a screw down crown, pull it out, and you go in the right direction, meaning the unusual direction, and then the GMT hand will move, but it moves in clicks. It should move in a click. If it moves smoothly, that is a sign of a bad GMT uh, watch. Okay, you're going to pull it out completely, the last click to adjust the time, and you see the GMT should move smooth in that, in that fashion. 
Okay, the last thing I want to show you is the hydrocarbon clasp. The bracelet is great, but this clasp is wonderful. Forged from one piece of steel, it is magnificent. It, I love the way it just simply slides in and it's nice and strong and firm. Man, I love this watch, guys. Believe me, this is an awesome watch. If you're interested in this watch, please come down to the Treasury Jewelers in Gambrels, Maryland. And they'd be happy to help you with this watch, a watch like it. Or find them on the web at www.newtreasury.com. I always ask the question, how would you spend your money? This is how I would spend my money.